Welcome to this instructional video for the King Korg Editor from SoundTower. Before we can use any of the editor functions, we have to confirm that the King Korg is communicating with the computer. First, start up the King Korg, and next we'll fire up the King Korg Editor. There are two ways to connect to the synth, through a USB cable directly to the computer, or through standard MIDI cables through a third-party MIDI interface. Let's look at the USB connection first. Before we can begin, however, we must confirm that the synth is set up correctly to send and receive from the editor. Under the MIDI menu, select MIDI Setup. Here we can see that the synth is not connected. First, we need to confirm that the Korg is set up to communicate with the computer. Here you can see a list of the parameters and their required settings. On the synth, push and hold the Shift Exit button and then push the Program Global button. Page up or page down to get to the G12 common protect and set to off with the data knob. Page up to G16 and set the global channel to 1. Page up to G18 and set MIDI plus USB. Page up to G23 filter program change and set to enable. G24 bank change to enable, G25 control change to enable, and G27 sysx to enable. Push the program button to exit. And that should complete the setup on the King Korg. Shut down the King Korg editor and start it up again. Okay, back to the editor and click on MIDI, then MIDI Setup. Your screen may appear somewhat different depending on if you're on a Mac or PC and what your exact MIDI setup is in your studio. Here we can see the King Korg appearing as an available connection, and if the settings on the synth are correct, the King Korg will be showing online, and we can exit this window. For the editor to communicate with the King Korg, the synth must be powered up before the editor. Before we can confirm connection between the synth and the editor, put the King Korg into edit mode by clicking on the page up button. Now to confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the synth and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust the parameters on the editor and those will be received by the synth. Okay, now we can get started with some of the features of the editor.